Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're back on the Xbox as a homeowner. Well guys, my bags are packed. We're heading out of town on a camping trip. With school starting next week, guys, I thought we'll go on one last one here for the summer. We're gonna go for three days to campgrounds. It looks to be a four, four and a half hour drive here now. Looks like everybody's getting their bags packed. So we have to head on outside to get everything loaded on up to get on ready. Like always guys, there's a full mod that's linked down below and if you do end up enjoying today's video, please hit the like button as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. We're going to be taking our brand new F-350 crew cab. I did put a few hundred miles on it the last few days, but uh, we are definitely going to be breaking it in tone. A big toy hauler here. We should have no problem. And I actually can't wait to see how this does here. We do a four-wheel drive, so the off-road trails uh, getting to the campgrounds should be no problem here. But uh, this morning, guys, I did go and buy this brand new hitch. This uh, hitch right here is adjustable to any height, and this thing here was pricey. It was almost like $250 here. So while they're inside uh, getting everything ready, we'll, we'll get this truck fired on up here. It's only like, uh, wow, it is 6.50 here. We got up early uh, to get ready for today. So today, guys, we're going to be taking the big toy hauler there, the tri toy hauler. It's going to be a big, uh, and uh, we are going to be bringing a few toys here. So let's see what's inside. I do want to take some of the new uh, ones that we recently picked on up here. Yeah, I think we're going to take the 4x4 quad, and hey, why don't we take the new dirt buggy? I think that's going to be the way to go here, but look at the toy hauler, guys. I actually haven't used this in uh, several uh, months, actually, so I do probably want to just uh, check the tire pressure, things like that. So hopefully, we do have a little bit of propane for the grill and different things like that. It looks like we have a few tie-down straps already inside there, so we should be good to go. I was actually looking around, trying to find them. Uh, they were actually in the old pickup truck that we recently traded on, and maybe I left them in there, but hey, luckily we do have a few here, but this uh, Lizard 4x4, I can't wait. I think we might have to find a little bit of firewood, and this thing is going to be pretty sweet as well, but uh, we'll get it ro uh, uh, rolled up the ramp here and get it loaded in. Having a toy hauler, guys, where we could uh, not only sleep in it uh, with a nice kitchen, everything like that, uh, but the ability to bring our toys along with us. Not having to bring a second truck trailer setup uh, does come in so handy here, but we're all loaded on up here. I'm just going to put uh, put a few straps on each, and then it, I do want to uh, check these tire pressures. They're looking a little bit low, it, and that might be just from sitting for a few months here. Looks like that's good to go here. Just making sure everything is uh, all ready for the road. Well, guys, the family's all in the truck. We're ready to go here now. We actually do have one of our neighbors that's going to be checking up on the house every day and is also going to be getting our mail here, which is going to help us on out here. But looking at it, oh boy, we do need a bit of diesel here. So we should probably stop before we leave town. That is one thing, guys, when you're going on road trips like that. You always want to have enough fuel, especially a big truck and trailer like this. I'm not even sure how good of a gas mileage uh, we are going to be getting here since this is a new truck here. But hey... I guess we're going to be breaking in the new truck towing and just having a great time here. But like I mentioned, this more than likely is going to be the last one of the summer months here. Although I'm really excited for fall, I can't wait uh, for next summer already because there's going to be so many cool things happening here. But wow, look like uh, not too many people are out this uh, early Sunday morning here. But we'll get fueled up and we'll catch you back. I'm just checking my console here. I brought almost a half dozen batteries for the camera, so we should have enough uh, so that I don't have to get any charge on up here. That's uh, probably one of the trickiest things when you're making videos is you got to have the cameras ready to go, and especially the batteries uh, that uh, sometimes don't tend to last uh, long. Other times, uh, uh, they are just A-OK -okay here, but I'm going to put down the camera for a bit and focus on driving. Just over four hours later, guys, we made it to Goldcrest uh, County. We're actually just now getting off the freeway, and I think it's going to be a lot of back roads here, maybe even a few dirt roads, but oh boy, look at that, guys. We are on empty here, so let's stop fill up on diesel, and I think I should definitely want to grab a few snacks here, but I also do want to stretch my legs a lot of driving, uh, sitting for that long of a time, especially towing a trailer. Uh, it does require a lot, a lot of focus here, but while we are here, I do also want to check 
uh, to make sure our off-road toys are ready to go as well because I actually did not bring a gas can and I don't want to go all the way to the campgrounds and after find out we need uh, to kind of fill them up on diesel. It looks like this gas station wasn't designed for big uh, trucks in uh, trailers maneuvering around here, but I did A-OK, -okay, and I'm so excited to go to this campground here now. I think we might have been here once or twice before, and that is pretty exciting as well here, but oh wow, look, uh, the dirt road is right here as well. I am following the GPS, hopefully uh, it uh, points us in the right direction as well. Now guys, I was able to get us a spot at the campgrounds here. It was $350 for the night, and that includes uh, just the regular services they're going to be, uh, be providing here for us, which is electricity. Also, uh, the hookups uh, for uh, the uh, tanks and things like that here. So that comes in pretty handy, and I think they did say they do have like a public uh, area here as well, which uh, we might want to use here. Hey, maybe we can hang out there and meet a few people, but wow, there looks to be a lot of farmland around here, but oh boy. And yeah, look at that. We're going to be turning into campgrounds. Now here in Farm Sim, guys, I really do enjoy camping, so hopefully we could go camping in FS22 as quickly as we can and just have a great time doing it as well. But now we actually have to find a campgrounds. I'm spinning just a little bit here. Looks like the soil's pretty loose here. Let's kick it in 4x4. Uh, we'll put the uh, diff uh, lock on as well so we have the best traction. Now we just have to kind of find a nice uh, place here. I actually kind of like uh, right along the trail here looks to be pretty good here. I want... Uh, let's see, uh, maybe we could go around to the other side here. That might be a little bit more room. Wow, there's trees growing right through the trails. Yeah, oh, yeah, this is a pretty good spot here. Nice uh, with the sun. Yeah, I think we're going to uh, probably just pull off right along here. This should be a pretty good spot for us. We'll keep the truck running as we get everything set on up here, you guys. Since we've got the steps set up, we got the door, we got the canopy. We just have to unload the toys, and we already do have a, uh, the slide outs ready to go for us as well. I mean, hey, this uh, toy hauler, once you get the hang of it, it is pretty easy to get set on up here as well. But we have both of these unloaded now. If it does rain, guys, uh, which it doesn't seem to be in the forecast, we are going to have to uh, kind of uh, get everything loaded up in a hurry, guys, because we definitely don't want these outside. I'm I mean, these are pretty fancy here, but this is actually our first time taking off-road on a camping trip. Same with the uh, 4x4 uh, quad as well. Well, guys, we got the campgrounds all set up here. The last thing we need is to find a few uh, pieces of wood uh, to start a nice fire for s'mores with marshmallows and just have a great time here tonight. But I will say, guys, this is a pretty cool uh, setup here. I always like to disconnect the truck and I uh, kind of park it in front so no one uh, can kind of tow it. But hey, why don't we hop on the quad here, go cruising around. If you guys haven't already, I highly recommend you guys go check me out over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there uh, some pretty cool exclusive things and just updates about the channel. And it is a lot of fun to interact with you guys. So drop any ideas down below in the comments uh, for the, these Xbox videos. But wow, what do we have here? This looks like a pretty cool lookout area. And wow, look at that, guys. I did not even realize it, but we're at the top of a mountain. This does look pretty sweet here. Wow, we definitely want to get some pretty cool pictures here maybe with the entire family overlooking the town that is I believe it's Goldcrest uh, County over here we have some uh, farm fields uh, I don't really see any farm oh I see one way there in the distance you guys can see wow a small red barn that's probably huge up uh, close here but this looks like a pretty awesome area I'm thinking, guys, with this quad, we're just going to do the exploring here. We'll leave all the fun, uh, fast uh, trail riding for the dirt buggy. Uh, and this thing is just uh, pretty awesome to cruise around here. This has a really, really nice suspension, which is also pretty neat. And, oh, boy, whoa, that looks to be an old cave there. That is pretty interesting. Haven't seen one of those before in Farm Sim. Let's see if we could go on up here just making it. The wheels are spinning. But, wow, we are climbing on up the mountain. I'm not really sure how far we could go up this. But, hey, we will definitely get give it a try here. Why don't we go up to the peak of this? Wow, just look at this. Unbelievable views. That is probably one of my favorite things here. And we're starting to slide on down, so we should probably uh, not try to go any higher. 
I've been on the quad riding around for a half hour now, definitely exploring some pretty cool areas. And it looks like uh, the uh, camera battery actually ran out and I had to put a new one in here. So maybe I might go back later on today uh, to kind of showcase those here. But why don't we get on back to the campsite and hop in the dirt buggy here because there's so many open areas and I want to go ripping around it and just having a lot of fun here. And this is definitely the place to do it in the backwoods uh, when you're camping. All right, let's get the lizard fired on up here. No problem now. We do have the uh, five-point harness on, so we should be good to go, even if we roll over here. But we definitely want to try to have as much fun as we can without really pushing the limits. That wouldn't be too good here as well. But this thing is so cool here. It is really fast. Just look at this thing turn. I mean, the traction of this thing is unbelievable here. Now, one thing I might look into doing is getting bigger rear tires, maybe smaller front tires with less traction. That way, we could slide the front as well. Uh, around as we are turning and things like that here, but this is so much fun Hey, why don't we go just go right on up the rock here? No problem. I mean uh, this thing guys just has so much power I mean uh, camping in the backwoods is so much fun so many opportunities uh, to really uh, just pretty much do what you want here with, with your off-road toys well, guys, it looks like I'm running low on my last battery here, so I should probably put down the camera and do the outro now. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.